Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto and today we're going to be switching out the windshield on my Harley Davidson Lowrider ST in gunship gray. Uh, this motorcycle stock windshield is really good looking. I really like the looks of it. Uh, however, being that I am 5'10 and a half with a 30 inch inseam, I have a little bit of a taller torso and this stock windshield uh, causes the wind to hit me right around eye level uh, on my on my full face helmet which is not a problem if i'm going under 50 miles an hour but above 50 55 uh, the wind starts to become quite a presence in my helmet uh, so i'm going to try a clockworks eight inch flare windshield uh, in uh, smoke color that uh, i got from west end motorsports and i'm hoping that putting this Clockworks Flare windshield on at 510 with a 30 inch inseam will help me um, to get rid of that, to push that wind just a couple more inches and over my helmet. Uh, so based on the research that I've done, it is supposed to be about the right height for me, um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm not gonna bore you with the install of the new uh, wind, windshield or anything. It's just, you know, taking the screws, the stock shield and putting on the new one so th that's a pretty pretty easy uh install however uh do have the new one down in the box here we'll go ahead and take that out and and kind of take a quick look at it we'll do a test ride with the new shield um, to kind of see um you know what the difference is so here is the clockworks eight inch flare windshield out of the box it does come packed in some uh styrofoam and or foam wrapping things like that and it's got this film on it so that you decide, you can put it on the bike, you can install it, and if you decide it's not right for you, I guess you can return it. Just to compare the heights of them uh, from the stock shield to the clockworks, you can see that the eight inch flare has about, looks like a good, I'm not measuring it at the moment, but at least three more inches higher than the stock shield. And then it's got that flare on the top of it. So hopefully it will be the right height, and I'm hoping that it doesn't totally kill the look of the bike. I really like the look of the stock shield. So that's one of those things where I feel like this shield could be good for cooler weather. And then the stock shield might be better for, for hotter months. All right. And then there they are side by side. All right. So we'll go ahead and get it on and we'll see what it looks like. All right. I've got the two shields stacked on top of each, of each other. The stock shield here on the front and the clockworks eight inch flare in the back here and so you can see again the difference between the two you got a little bit more width here on both sides the clock on the clockworks shield and then you have a little more height and then the flare as well so while they're stacked on top of each other here we'll see if we can get a measurement this is the i couldn't find my regular tape measure so this is probably not the the best thing to use here we'll, we'll do this we know this is four inches so it runs from four inches down to six and a half so it's actually exactly two and a half inches higher two and a half inches higher than the stock shield when you have them kind of stacked on top of each other so the wind hitting me right at eye level um two and a half inches hopefully we'll bring it to here with and then the the flare will will bring it just another inch or two uh we'll see what happens all right so Let's go ahead and get this on the bike and see what it looks like. All right, the clockworks did come, by the way, with these really nice color directions, which is kind of rare. And they're actually in uh, English that is proper English and not translated from another language. So I was thankful for those directions. They did, I did actually refer to those a little bit. But this is the clockworks shield on the motorcycle. And again, we'll do a little comparison. We'll lay the stock shield on top of it so you can see the difference. So two and a half inches of height difference uh, on the top there at the very highest point. And then comes in, I guess, in a crown there at the top. And then a little bit, maybe a half an inch so on each side. All right, so we'll go ahead and peel off this blue stuff. I, I'm not sure if I, I'm not, probably not gonna be able to return it anyway, but uh, definitely not gonna be able to return it now. Um, so. That's how she looks now with the Clockworks 8 inch flare smoked. All right, so definitely a little bit of a different look 
still like the stock shield better, but let's see how uh, it does with the wind. Here's the moment of truth, right? All right, guys. Test riding the Clockworks uh, eight inch flare windshield on my Harley Lowrider ST. And I can now at like 45, 50 miles an hour, I can open my visor up. Now I've got like a uh, I've got the sunshade that flips down inside your helmet, like built-in sunglasses in this helmet. It's a uh, HJC ARFA or RPHA 70 uh, helmet. I know there's a lot of helmets that come with that. I, uh, I swear by this feature. Uh, so I don't have to wear sunglasses and I don't have to worry about a smoke visor. I just, if it's dark out, I, uh, I just retract the sunshade back up into the helmet and keep riding. So. Um, but yeah, with my visor open and that sun, sunshade down, uh, you know, I've got very little wind, just a, just a perfect amount of wind. This, I'm going 47, 48 miles an hour right now, and just a perfect amount of wind kind of filtering up inside the visor, uh, not blasting me in the face, but uh, just kind of almost like an air conditioning, you know, it, it feels nice and it's not um, shutting my visor it's not before with the stock screen uh, at you know 50 55 miles an hour those kind of speeds you know if i tried to open my visor up at all it, it would the wind would just blow it back shut and so uh you know i increased my speed a little bit here i'm going 54 uh you know my, right now and still same thing you know just a little bit of wind coming into the helmet uh very minimal uh, almost like on hot day you want you want that wind to, uh, to come into your helmet to cool you off a little bit it's that kind of wind it's not blasting it me in the eyes uh, it's it's just great so again 510 and um, 510 and a half with a 30 inch inseam and this uh, windshield does seem to be a really good fit for me so depending on your height if you're like six foot six one you may want to consider if you're going with the clockworks uh, going with the 10 inch shield the wind is hitting me like right it's just the very top of my helmet and so feel like if I was any higher, if I crane my neck and I really sit up, it's still not bad. It's not as bad as the stock shield. It still helps. So I'd say up to six feet, you should be okay. Depending on the height of your torso, if you have a longer inseam and all your heights in your legs, you could be 6'2 and, and have no issues at all. This road is 55, so we'll try to pick up the speed a little bit, see how she does. I feel like the smoke color of, uh, of this windshield is a little bit lighter than the factory, at least looking at it this way. But I could be, you know, I could be wrong. All right, so now I'm up to 60 miles an hour running, running in sixth gear. And I've got a little bit more swirling going on. If I open my visor just a little bit more, it, the wind will actually, and I'm, I'm running 62, 63, the wind will actually kind of bring it back down. Uh, so if I just crack it a little bit, the wind will close it again. But it's still not bad. I can still cruise it. And if I open the, my helmet to the right setting, the visor rather, to the right setting, I can still cruise along 55, 60, and um, the wind won't blow the helmet shut. So there is a little more swirling wind, but it's not it's not terrible at all. Um, again, the wind's hitting me. Uh, I 
say it really starts just just at the top of the helmet maybe a little bit above most of the winds I say going over my helmet so I'm gonna shut the visor click it shut and uh, I think that I can barely feel any wind on my helmet at all now there is wind noise uh, and that's just from the you know the swirling up of wind from around the fairing but I'm still getting, you know, um, so I am still getting, sorry, the wind noise, but I'm uh, not getting the fatiguing part of the wind on my helmet, if that makes sense. So for a longer ride, I would probably want to put in some, some earplugs. I think that would be good for my hearing uh, protection, but I feel like just for, you know, 30, 45 minute ride, you know, something like that, a commute really wouldn't need earplugs. It's not, uh, it's not bad. And, uh, the look of it, you know, I'm looking way over it. You know, my, my, it's not interfering with my vision. Open my visor up again. So you can see, you know, I'm right, riding down the road with the visor open, you know, and if there was a huge amount of wind, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me right now. So we'll have to look at this in, um, in post-production and when I'm putting the video together uh, and see what kind of audio quality I'm getting with the visor open a little bit. Now this is actually the second day I've rode with the shield. I know in the video it seemed like, you know, I immediately put this on and rode with it. So I did that yesterday, and it was extremely humid yesterday. And I felt like um, that my first impression of the shield was a little bit off because of the humidity. Some people say that humid air less offers less wind resistance, and scientifically that's true, but I, it felt to me like the wind was really... Uh, blowing like crazy even though there was no wind when it was extremely humid yesterday so you know I kind of got some negative impressions of the shield which were not accurate because uh, I'm riding with it now and I'm seeing uh, that it is actually much better as far as the wind protection from the stock shield and the looks are growing on me Nothing beats, in my opinion, nothing beats the look of the stock shield that's out there right now at all. Uh, just because it it just looks so good. But this is a close second. And I think for the uh, wind protection exchange that you get, it's a fair trade-off. I don't think it looks bad, it's just not as good as the stock shield. And everyone's opinion is going to be different. You know, some people will like the Clockworks flare better in appearance than the stock shield. Some people might prefer the Clearview shields. I did not like the looks of the Clearview shield. Uh, that's just me. I felt like they, in order to get the wind protection of the, the 8 inch, you needed to go up to a taller, at least based on the research that I did. You would need to go up to like a 10 inch uh, clear view shields, windshield, and I just was not, uh, I didn't want to go that high. I felt like uh, I didn't really like the looks of it being a really, really tall windshield to me. It does not look amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull over here and we'll just do a quick walk around. to get one last look at the shield. Got this strange noise coming from my rear wheel. I've already had the dealership check it and it's um, they say it's fine but it, it continues. So that Stay tuned on that. Um, hopefully when I get some, some pipes on here that are louder, I won't hear it at all. <laughs> Just as long as the belt and everything's within spec. 
So yeah, just looking at the uh, the Clockworks 8-inch flare windshield and smoke. Uh, I do think it's a sharp looking shield. Again, you know, I don't feel like anything beats the stock shield as far as the looks of it. But, and I do feel like this is definitely lighter. You, now looking at it from the outside in the daylight, it's definitely a lighter smoke than the stock shield. So that's a thing too, you know, as far as the appearance of it. I think that the darker smoke looks good, looks a little bit better. But uh, the side profile is really still pretty slick. You know, it doesn't go way, way up high. And, you know, it's kind of got some, dare I say, some sexy curves, uh, you know, going on with that flare. It's not overkill. It's kind of, uh, kind of attractive in its own way. Stylish, maybe, is a better word. I'm not sure. Depends on who you are, where you're from. I've been looking at a lay-down license plate cover, or license plate bracket for the bike uh, from Amazon. So that's uh, a lot cheaper if you get it off Amazon than if you buy it from some other retailers. So I may be looking at that. Some say you can actually bend this thing. It's crazy how it sticks up like that. I mean, I, I get it. You're supposed to be able to read your license plate, but that's very... Anyway, back to the windshield. Sorry. So, yeah. Definitely good quality shield, by the way. Uh, the thickness is is definitely there. It's as thick, if not thicker, than the stock shield. So I definitely feel like this would offer good protection. If uh, something large were to strike it, just due to the quality of it and then it comes with this little clockworks uh, sticker too I guess you could remove that if you really didn't want it there free advertisement for clockworks I guess but yeah that's it guys I would say that it's a plus again 5 10 and a half 30 inch inseam if you're looking at the 8 inch clockworks flare for your lowrider ST or your soft tail with a uh, ST fairing I would say that uh, if you're the you know if you're under six feet that it'll be a good shield for you now if you're there's been some research done that if you are have a much shorter torso like your five six something like that or five five it, this might actually cause more buffeting uh, from the wind so you know be mindful of that if probably if you're five eight to uh, six feet the eight inch is is probably good for you that's my guess that's not science that's not exact that's not law but if you're five ten five ten and a half with a 30 inch or close to that inseam then this should be a a good windshield for you to kind of get all that buffeting out of your face and over your over your helmet I appreciate you guys watching the video today, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to Rev Free Moto, please subscribe. That re definitely helps me out, and give the video a like. That helps me out too. Appreciate you guys so much, and uh, remember, it's who you're becoming. That's what matters most. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video, guys.